Science. According to a recent study by the University of Georgia, around 8 million tons of plastic waste end up each year in our oceans. Four times more of this waste can be found lying around on our coasts, disfiguring beaches, polluting the environment, and threatening biodiversity. A solution to this problem could come from this plant, the cardoon. Here, in the north of Sardinia, the cardoon is grown to produce the oils required for the manufacture of so-called bioplastics. The cardoon is a thistle-like plant closely related to the artichoke. As part of a European project, the companies Novamont and Versalis have created a joint venture called Matrica, which aims to use that plant to make plastics that are all biodegradable and recyclable, and will ultimately serve as fertilizers. Aren't these cardoon fields taking land away from agriculture? No, we don't take land away from agriculture. Instead, we try to give value to land that agriculture has lost. In this part of Sardinia, there are about 60,000 hectares that were abandoned in the last 30 years. Here we want to recover a small percentage, 3 to 4 percent, of this land through the cardoon, which is perfectly suited to the Mediterranean environment. It doesn't need irrigation water, only rain. The Bioplastics factory is located on what used to be an abandoned industrial site. Here, oil is extracted from cardoon seeds and mixed with sunflower oil. Nothing gets wasted. The plant's leaves and stem are burnt to produce the energy needed to run the factory, and what's left of the seeds will be used in a special feed for sheep. The vegetable oil goes through reactors and is turned into acids used for bioplastics in an entirely automated process. From a control room, technicians only monitor the machines, the valves, and the pressure inside the pipes. Researchers also carefully analyze both the quality of the original vegetable oil and of the final products. No solvents are used throughout the process. The chemical reactions are obtained with water, air, and hydrogen peroxide, none of which pollute the environment. It's a completely new and unique process that transforms the vegetable oil without using toxic and explosive gases such as ozone. From the vegetable oil, we derive an acid, that is, the raw material for bioplastics, that will be used, for example, in grocery bags. But we also obtain another acid that, as such, can be used as a bioherbicide and replace much more toxic molecules. It can also be transformed into products for use as biolubricants or cosmetics that don't contain any palm oil. There's also another product that can be used in the manufacture of tires and replace mineral oils that are toxic and can cause cancer. Among the bioproducts made in Sardinia, there's a biolubricant for ships, which is non-polluting and dissolves in the sea. A major step forward considering some 3 million tons of lubricating oil made from petrol end up in the sea each year in Europe alone. For now, the bioplastics made in Sardinia are more expensive than chemical ones, though being biodegradable, they have no disposal costs. Scientists note, however, that they won't save the planet on their own. They need to come hand-in-hand hand with better recycling of traditional plastics.